Dear Amy, age six, you're ugly. You had just smiled at that little boy right before he said that to you. It's funny how easy it is to remember the words that sting. But you'll remember the things said in kindness too. Those words also leave an impression. Your mom thought you were pretty and she told you so. Your grandma did too. When you're six years old, it's easy to make up a story about the things people say. You'll make yourself the main character in your very own fairy tale. And in that fairy tale, bad things happen when you're ugly and good things happen when you're pretty. Somehow other people's opinions of you changed into a story that being pretty equals being safe. Being pretty equals being loved. But how pretty is pretty enough? There really is never enough pretty. You'll compare yourself to other little girls and you'll always find prettier girls than you and that will feel scary. Then when you get older, each beautiful woman will remind you of a lie. The lie that pretty equals safe. Pretty equals love. You'll never feel safe or loved enough. So you'll diet, you'll starve yourself for weeks and weeks, and then you'll beat yourself up for eating to the opposite extreme. You'll obsess over your reflection, chin too short, nose too big, teeth too yellow, thighs too fat, butt too big, lips not right. You'll give a number on a scale the power to influence your day, the way you treat yourself that day. So if it's a good number, you'll give yourself permission to walk down the street with confidence, speak your mind, have fun. If it's a bad number, you won't even let yourself leave the house that day. I want you to know this right now though. Your real worth has nothing to do with pretty. It can't be measured by the shape of your chin, the size of your nose, the color of your teeth, the size of your butt, the look of your lips. The truth is, in your life, there will be times when you look pretty, like before your date with Dennis, can't remember his last name, when your hair turned out really good. And the truth is, there will be times in your life when you don't look so great, like that time in junior high where you decided to chop off one side of your hair. But here's the, the truth about that. It doesn't make you any less worthy when you don't look great. And it doesn't make you any more worthy when you do look great. Your real worth comes from your strength, your tenacity, your courage, your resourcefulness, your sense of humor, your passion, your compassion, your creativity, your authenticity, your integrity, your intuition. Go look in the mirror. You are beautiful. It doesn't matter what anyone else says or thinks about you. Believing this is a choice. When you do believe it, you step into a better story. A story about your own true power. You step into this better story by trusting yourself. Listen to yourself. Respect yourself. Stand up for yourself. Believe in yourself. Be proud of yourself. Everything you are in exactly this moment is enough. No matter what anyone else thinks of you, you are loved and you are safe. You can create a new fairy tale. You are the main character. In this story, you are strong, courageous, funny, resourceful, passionate, kind, creative, intuitive, authentic, and you are beautiful. So choose love. The alternative is fear, fear of not enough love. And the truth is, there will always be enough love for you. Remember, when you choose love, there is nothing to lose. I love you.